I am going out again. I have the truck again today. So, be good. Mommy loves you. No parties. The house is a mess of dog toys, and I got to get around to getting up this Halloween stuff. Uh, but today, I'm going to the Dollar Tree, my favorite store. But I'm going to the one in the neighboring town because it's bigger than ours and they have more selection so hopefully I will not run into the trash can maybe I should freaking move it I'm not going to vlog while I drive today because I'm planning on listening to my new motionless and white CD very 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 loudly and I'm not editing that out so I'm gonna grab me a basket. I got gift wrap. Let's see. I got cute gift bags, table covers. The best thing about looking and showing y'all here is the fact that I don't have to tell you prices. That's the absolute best. They really have cute gift bags. I think that that's cute. It's like a little. It looks like a gift tag. It's a little door hanger. I love these door hangers. Have yourself a Merry Christmas. That's cute. I love the deer. We got some of these last year. What color did I get? Merry Christmas. Felt decor, bows, curling ribbon. Oh, I like the bells. Creek buckets, gift tags out the wazoo, gift bags. Does it have lights in it or is it just, I think it's just decor. Oh, I thought it might have lights in it or something. This stuff reminds me of the 50s. We have Christmas cards but I love getting new Christmas cards. Tree skirts, bells, ornaments. I love these little door hangers. How long is this garland? 15 feet? I wonder if that's. Well, let's see. A nine foot strand of lights wasn't enough to go around the posts. I want a couple of those for the posts. Jeez Louise, they've got a lot of stuff. wire edge ribbon I hear somebody squeaking a dog toy we have some of these these are great for the trees somebody is going to town over in the dog toy section squeaking stuff I love the big ornaments I wish we had a tree out in the front Oh, I like the white deer. Hello, white deer. You want to come home with me? I don't do angels and churches and all that stuff, but I do do the fake flowers. They, it's uh, you can get and make some really nice arrangements with the flowers that they've got here, as opposed to Walmart where they're more expensive. So I might have to get a couple of these. I like to put them around the mailbox. They've got DIY ornament balls. And no, it's not too early to shop for Christmas when you're going to make stuff. Ooh. Body lotion, vanilla, sugar, orange blossom, vanilla bean and warm caramel. Bells. Oh, okay, here's Santa hats. And they've got Minnie Mouse stocking and the Avengers. Let's 
As far as I have many, I don't see a Mickey. Oh, here's princesses. So cute. So adorable. Here's a little tiny Christmas tree. Is that like a foot tall? Many trees are really cute. Oh, that's cute. I don't have batteries in it. That's cute though. Let's see. Sparkly pine cones. And here we have an assortment of nutcrackers. And those. So. This is your dollar store Christmas right now. Oh, we've got some more uh, stockings up here. The fuzzy ones are cute. Oh look, these are the kind where you make your own. Hats and ho 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 and little hats. And we've already got Santa Claus candy. I, I wouldn't buy a candy this early, but oh my gosh. This is too cute. Oh my gosh, that was cute. And we got serving platters. <laughs> and these are cute little stocking stuff for here. Rubber ducks. And pencils. If y'all are into pencils or you have children door covers and magnets photo props that's really cute if you have a little Christmas party yeah. they never have round table covers it's so hard to find round table covers I have a round table and then we have more candy so so I just got a few things from this dollar store and then I'm gonna go check our dollar store if I have any money left I might go get myself a hamburger I'm pretty freaking hungry right now uh, I don't really want to spend money on food, but I'm freaking hungry, so I might treat myself while I'm out. I would have eaten something at the house, but I'm away from my house, and uh, I get really ill if my blood sugar drops too low, and I'm starting to get to that shaky point. So, I need to eat now. I'm going to park right here behind the semi in the shade. I'll lock myself in here. Get me a little... This better be hungry. Oh, the cheese is all melty. Uh, stuck to my finger. That's good shit. It's always good when the cheese is melty. I'm going to unbuckle my seat belt for a moment. This kind of reminds me when I was in Oregon for a couple months when I was in Astoria 
I would go to Safeway and get a turkey and Harvati panini, the best panini ever. And then I would drive up to the top of the Astoria Column and sit on the hill and just overlook the scenery. The where I parked was right by they've got um like some canoes up there for the Lewis and Clark thing. And the little saying um, where one of them said, I can see the ocean. And so over here on this side, the columns behind you where I would park. Over here on this side is Saddle Mountain. And then you could look across this way and look across the little bay right there and see Washington State, which was that's really fucking cool. You could see the Astoria Bridge, and then you could see the bridge that went out down towards Warrington. I miss it. I miss it really bad. Every once in a while, on a nice day, I would take my car and go down, head down towards Cannon Beach, or somewhere around the Warrington area, between Warrington and Seaside. Um, there was a beach you could drive on, and so I would drive my car right onto the beach and just sit there right in front of the ocean waves and eat my lunch. Just me in the ocean in my car and it was absolutely fantastic i wish that i could afford to take matt to oregon and show him why i miss that place so much i swear oregon and washington are the two most beautiful states in this in the in, in the continental u.s anyway i know it's weird but Sitting here, I'm talking with my mouth full, but we're just hanging out. That's what we're doing. We're just hanging out. I needed to get some food in my system. Maybe you're eating right now, too. If you are, what you eating? Mmm. When dairy cream is fresh, mmm. I was a little bit pissed that I ordered this. And it was over four dollars and then i saw they had a five dollar lunch meal that would have come with a burger and fries and i think a sunday but it's a good thing i didn't because one i can't eat that much food two fried food makes me feel sick so i eat fries on occasion but and three I'm trying to lose weight. I did not make my goal for Halloween, so I'm resetting the goal and making it for Christmas. I have six pounds to lose by Christmas to at least be my goal. I'm not setting like, oh, I'm going to lose 20 pounds by Christmas. That's great and dandy, but you when, you when you set a large goal like that, a lot of times you set yourself up to fail. So if you set small goals, then it's easier to reach a smaller goal at a time. And then you feel more successful and more motivated. So, uh, because there's nothing more depressing than making a big goal and then not meeting it. And then what do you do? You eat because you're depressed. That's what I do. So, six pounds by Christmas. I'm 135. I'm just being honest. I hate putting it out there, but I want to be 129. I want to be in my 20s. I want to be 129 by Christmas. And I don't mean 129 because I just didn't eat that day. I mean, I want to be a steady 129. If I can get to 129, then I'll have about... I would like to lose 15 pounds from there, but I'll be happy if I can just... My ultimate, ultimate goal is at least 120. I'm happier at like 115, but I'll be all right at 120. So after I finish eating, we're going to head down to the dollar store by my house. And this one did have stuff that mine doesn't. It's kind of weird. It's like, I'll look on Pinterest and I'll see crafts I want to make. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's easy. I can do that. All that shit comes in the dollar store. I get in the dollar store and every time I completely blank out. What did I need for what craft? What was I going to make? What was I going to make? So I end up wandering around and buying stuff that doesn't have anything to do with anything. 
or not buying anything at all because I have brain farted. What I need to do, I guess would be smart, is to take pictures of the crafts that I want to make on my phone. I'm in my dollar store now, which is much smaller, but they do have some different stuff, like I said. I was going to get a wreath, but I don't really know how to make one yet, so I'm, I guess that'll wait. And I'll have to, like, study Pinterest or something. I'd rather do a greenery wreath, because I don't do the, um, the mesh things I don't like. Um, I call them shower poofs. It looks like somebody's decorated with a shower poof, but that's me. I know everybody else likes them, and I have seen some pretty ones, but it's just not my thing. I'm trying to decide if we want to get some, um, uh, we don't have any stocking holders. So as you know, I went to the Dollar Tree and showed all the Christmas stuff that they have. I went to two different uh, locations and I couldn't resist getting myself a little something to get a head start. I love Christmas. I know a lot of people say it's not very goth to love Christmas. Fuck it. I love Christmas. I'm not going to, I'm not going to um, apologize for that. I love sparkly and I love Christmas music and blah, blah, blah. Uh, throw lights on it and I'm like yeah I love Christmas so this is my little uh, mini dollar store Christmas haul okay this is I mean 15 feet of garland ever since we've lived here hi is it pretty ever since we've lived here we have wanted to wrap green around our post we always wrap lights around it but we never go out and buy the green because it's so expensive for garland and this is the first time i've seen this at the dollar store 15 feet now we bought some uh orange halloween lights that were nine feet long and they only did the top half of the post barely so i figured that getting two would do one post so i actually ended up getting four of them so I figure if I can't wrap two of my posts with freaking combined 60 feet, there is something wrong. But I'm really excited because this year we're going to have the greenery wrapping around and lights. And I think that'll just add a little something to it. It makes me so excited to decorate. Hi, I'll put that right there and you can smell it. Yes, we have wrapping paper in the closet, but I can't resist when I see good wrapping paper that's pretty and this was sparkly i actually bought this to wrap my husband's gift in because it's a special gift and i wanted it to be really pretty um and it's it's got a white background that i don't know if you can probably see on there but it's got purple and blue and silver like hollow it's a, it's hologram so um purple blue silver and red snowflakes with the holla so, I know, I'm not the hollow girl. That's simply no logical. But, everybody loves a little hollow, right? I got, yes, I know you heard something jingles. I got uh, one of these. I love it comes with two of them. Stop it. And one of them's leg is, is there. It comes with two deer. And they've got little uh, little jingle bells on their neck. And I'm actually going to probably do a project with these, not just hang them on my tree. I've got some gold deer for my tree, um, but I'm probably going to do something with these, like a Pinterest type thing. Um, I am a sucker for kitchen towels and for uh, pot holders. And I like these kind of pot holders because the little squares, I'm always scared that I'm gonna, it's going to fall out of my hand and I'm going to burn myself. So I love these. 
But look, it's got the Christmas trees and it's got sparkly gold. Sparkle, sparkle. I love it. I mean, come on now. I, I looked at some I looked at some towels uh, in a couple other stores already and like six dollars for a towel. No, go to the dollar store for real. Dollar Tree is where it's at, y'all. And yes, I have a bunch of Christmas cards, but when I see cute Christmas cards, I can't resist. Especially if they have sparkly on them. This has got a little snowman and it says sending warm holiday wishes your way. And on the back, on the inside, it'll say seasons, greetings, and best wishes for a happy new year. And some of y'all watching this will probably end up getting this in your mail. So I hope you like it. Sparkly. I've got a puppy looking at me. I didn't get anything for you yet. They don't have Christmas stuff in the pet smart yet. I got a gold frame. And the reason why I got the gold frame is because I was actually thinking about putting like a background on here. Like I could even use some of the, uh, some of that wrapping paper and then like mount these in there. I don't know if they'll mount because of the bells though, but I have something else just in case. Oh yeah, I've got one more package. Okay. This comes with five red glitter reindeer and so I thought I might actually put the red reindeer inside the frame because I mean think about it if you put I mean I know it's like a Pinterest type thing but if you could either leave it clear somehow or if you put a background of some really cool wrapping paper or something and then mount these inside of it and frame it you've got some beautiful Christmas art for cheap and I like cheap cheap is good I got two things of ribbon um, I love when I like wrapping presents a lot of people hate wrapping I love wrapping presents to me it's like clear the floor let me get my wrapping paper out and get tape everywhere and have a blast and I like to wrap ribbon around my gifts so I got some red sparkly ribbon and then I got some silver, and it's got some beautiful little designs in it. Um, it's like on a white background, but the silver's shining. So I thought that would be really beautiful, and I thought it would go very well with the wrapping paper that I got. Uh, white sparkly trees. I've never seen the trees before. I've seen them with... Uh, like bells and bows and the reindeer I have never seen the winter trees I absolutely could not resist getting a couple of these so they might end up on the tree or they might end up being a decoration somewhere else I don't know and if you haven't been able to tell by my kitchen I am a sucker for these cardboard not cardboard like these press board signs and this one says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. And I love deer. Anything with deer on it at Christmas time. Yeah, I love deer. I think maybe it's because I miss the elk so bad up in Oregon. I just love them. I don't know, something about deer and Christmas time. But I love that the letters are shiny. So I this is might go on my front door if I don't end up getting a wreath. If not, it will end up in my kitchen. So... There's my little haul. Thank you. I spent like $15, which I mean, hey, at the dollar store, you get a lot for 15 bucks. There is no way I could have walked out of Walmart with all this stuff for $15. I absolutely love the Dollar Tree. It's amazing. And I love my puppy who is sitting here so patiently wondering if I have something for her. And I don't, not yet. It's always about the monkey. It's always... I'm so excited to, to start decorating now. And I'm trying to wait. I think last year we decorated the week of Thanksgiving. Like most people decorate the day after Thanksgiving. I think we decorated the weekend before Thanksgiving. Um, so, oh, if I can just hold out. I'm trying to hold out. But I'm not going to lie, I've already got Christmas music playing in my bedroom, so not ashamed. Love Christmas. 
So I can't wait to get decorating, but I hope you enjoyed the um, Dollar Tree haul and all the stuff that they have. Go out and get in your local Dollar Tree and say what they have. It's really not too early to go Christmas shopping and get stuff for decorations because if you wait, the people that do make crafts and stuff will go and get all the good stuff really quick. So go out and hit your Dollar Tree and go ahead and start stocking up for all those crafts and all the Pinterest things that we can do. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. You're so cute. Mwah.